Hey guys, if you planning on staining your deck, take this right here, forget about it. These right here, forget about it. If you have never tried a Graco sprayer, tankless sprayer, you are missing out. This thing is the most fantastic device uh, to use. It's easy as pie. It does a great job and man, will it throw some paint or stain. Right now guys, I just uh, open it up. I've just got a stirrer stick, uh, stirrer on the metal stirrer on the end of my drill. And right now, I'm just gonna work on <clears throat> getting everything all mixed up real good. So guys, today I'm using the Graco Magna Mix 5. It's an older, it's an older sprayer, but man, this thing, it's a tankless sprayer, but man, I tell you what, it just does a great job. I love the way the nozzle works. I love the way you can adjust the pressure on it, and the coverage is just out of this world. And I'm not sponsored by Graco, I just love the product. This deck is over 30 years old, suffering from major neglect. I just got to the point that I was so sick of looking at it. In fact, if you uh, go to some of my other videos, I'll add it in. You can see where uh, I used my, uh, I shouldn't have used the turbo nozzle, but it was just that bad. I'll put that in on the end screen, but you can see where I stripped all of it down. But anyway, the wood is over 30 years old in very rough shape, but it's cleaning up. So one re really cool thing that's a feature about this is, let's say for example, my, my pressures are pretty good, but let's say I had the pressure turned way up and I'm painting my pickets and going up and down and I'm getting a whole lot of overspray. The cool thing about this is you can turn the power, the uh, pressure down and you can really reduce your overspray and not waste uh, so much of your product. Right now I've kind of got it set at a mid air, mid range just because I am wanting to cover a lot of distance when I'm not on the picket. And what I'm doing is I'm moving really quickly while I'm on the picket and I'm doing up real close to kind of reduce that overspray. Anyway, it's amazing how fast the time you can make. This is a quick shot of the final product once I got it all stained. I know the wood is in still rough shape. Remember, this is over 30 years old, but wow, does it look so much better than it did. And my goal is to get a, another year or so use out of this, the way it is. And then we're gonna tear it down. And the plan is to take this to one level and it'll probably be the same width, but the length of it will go almost down to the corner of the house and out. And then in this area right here, I'm hoping to build in and have a nice outdoor kitchen. So those are the future plans. But for right now, this is what it looks like. I think it turned out great. Again, that sprayer did a fantastic job.